Hello, my name is Andrew Vondenhoofel, and uh, what I want to talk about today is something that I've been thinking a lot about for uh, several years now, really, but you know, as these chains continually get tighter and tighter and tighter about our uh, losing our inherent rights we're not losing them we're just giving them away because all of this is voluntary you know so they come up uh, and the more I think about it and the better it sounds up here in my in my head but uh, it really needs to get out there but what I'm looking to do with uh, everything getting uh, more restricting as far as you know when they come out with this vaccine and and these all may be rumors and stuff but I do see it gradually gonna be working that way right now it all sounds crazy you know you might be considered a nut you know crazy but whatever I'd much rather be crazy in this world than or sound crazy to a bunch of insane people because it is it's literally insanity by uh you know black's law de dictionary definition of insanity people do not know the difference of fiction and reality and uh it don't really creep me out in a sense it makes me feel bad for the people that don't understand and uh you know i have a little bit of empathy there for them especially the ones that's going to walk right into the meat grinder without without struggling one little bit you know they're gladly doing it and them are the weak souls and i really wish that we could uh get get to them and uh see really get to them and and have them awaken as well because those are the ones that are keeping the perpetual wheel of destruction going especially for us you know the working class people because they're the they're kind of the parasites but what i want to get to is uh solutions for this because then people are just going to have a hard time and you know it's just going to be a whole uh, string of tough love that they're either going to conform to or like i said they'll walk right into right into the meat grinder and not even struggle and that's sad but I want to get into um, what we can do about getting collected and or not necessarily organized because I don't want any type of groupthink uh, structure. What I would like to see is a bunch of men and women working for freedom. And, uh, and it does take work, you know, we can't expect, uh, our supermarket type fruits and vegetables without work. You know, right now we're, we're killing the people that have done it and genetically modifying organisms and all this stuff, which is a destruction to nature. And if it's a destruction to nature, we're destroying ourselves as above so below outside inside you know it's all reflection of itself mirror images but I would like to find in um, some communities or organizations that have already kind of got this stuff established because I have I have farm ground or gardening ground, we'll say that, that 
there's enough areas for uh, us to grow plenty of food, but it, it's going to take help. And I'm looking for people that are willing to uh, go that mile, are willing to step away from the the structure and uh, put it forth, you know, put it forth into something that's going to be beneficial to try to reach more people that want to get out of the matrix, if that's what we can call it. And uh, it's going to be a slow process. That's what I've struggled with and uh you know i want instant results and i think that that's part of my conditioning that i'm still uh working on programming and you know we've been so programmed to the point that that this is the world that we built through it and it's uh destructive counterproductive towards uh, men and women's nature you know we're caught up in this fictitious world and uh, I want to start getting into some reality and uh, some life and I want to start this farm and start producing good sustainable food uh maybe i can plant oats and uh, wheat and stuff like that but you know we need to have another group or community that is capable of um manufacturing it turning it into rolled oats uh, turning it into flour and you know we can we can do this without any third party and that's what i'm coming to realizations that we once we step outside of this uh fake world with our ucc1 paperwork and you really start to understand uh the depths of uh what's happened and then we can build our confidence more and more to get away from that those legal fictions get away from the false reality that we've been taught is true and that's all that it is is just ideas and uh nothing based in in reality, God, truth, and uh, I don't know if anyone out there is interested or willing to go that this extra mile. Um, you know, I plan on leaving my job in February and start establishing my common law. Uh, farms you know and that's not what it's going to be called i don't even really want to have a name for it i just want to grow food sustainably and you know with all this we need uh aqua biology we just need there's a whole line of scientists and things that people can be useful and putting their skills and stuff to good use but uh, for now i'm going to leave that there and see where this video goes i'll uh see y'all soon thanks